What is up YouTube? This is Count Bladwin. How's everybody doing? Great, I hope. So, I'm doing this at night, so I'm actually drinking a beer tonight. Hope y'all are doing good. First off, quick survive. Burns for 10 minutes at 750 degrees. 30 year shelf life. 100% waterproof and it's food safe they don't weigh much this is a package of 12 you can see how thin it is it don't weigh much at all uh, if if y'all want some for your go bag bug out bag or just starting your grills or bonfires or whatever you want to use it for they work great for that stuff uh, links in the description if, if you use my code CB tactical you get 20% off from free shipping anywhere in the United States as you can see we got tack pack in front of us it says on the box there matches safety so the post office uh, had to had to know that it had fire in it that's funny so this is the tack pack plus tack pack box is fifty dollars a month and uh this is the tack pack plus i think it's 130 a month i'm using my spider code para three to open this Boy, I hope everybody's doing great tonight. I hadn't been real happy about Tack Pack Plus, but it's a, it, it's okay. I mean, you know, it, it's not what I was expecting last month, but that's all right. We're getting used to it. It's, there's some good stuff in them, though. Okay, looks like we got a Kershaw. All right. I'm going to set this stuff to the side and we'll pull it out as we go through. Okay, first thing on the list is the Kershaw Fraction Knife. The Fraction is, is alright, you know, uh, it's not, you know, my first choice of knife, but okay. Kershaw and Danish knife tool maker Jans Anzo team up to create a slim, sleek design that weighs in at a fraction of the weight of other comparable knives under two ounces. The lighter weight is thanks to the streamlined design as well as the yet light yet strong G10 handles with a cool carbon fiber overlay. I mean, it's not too bad. It looks like it's got grayish uh, G10 scales. So let's get our cutting stuff out here. So it's a flipper. Okay. Feels assisted. Don't feel too bad. So it's, let's see, 8 CR 13. Not a bad steel, uh, but not great, you know. It's like it's a, well, okay. Okay. Well, the fraction might be all right. I'm not gonna hate on it, you know. Uh, it is made in China, that's okay. Uh, a lot of stuff is made in China nowadays so uh, the fraction actually did pretty good on the paper test let's see what we get on the push through oh oh not a lot of not a lot of effort there let's see what we get on the slice yep that went through pretty easily 
And that did too. It's not super clean, but it went through all right. Let's see what we get on a pop. Pop's good. Cuts clean on the pop. Okay, slice good. You know what? I figured that'd be uh, like most Kershaw's you get nowadays. Just meh, not not too good, not too not too great. Uh, don't come out of the package very sharp. Last Kershaw I got was the Dune, and it it wasn't very uh, wasn't very. I don't know. I didn't really like it. Uh, the only thing I don't really care about on this is it. It's got a lot of edges to it, you know, to the handles and stuff. Kind of a little sharp, but that's okay. You know, I, that's all right. I'm I'm not really gonna complain about that too much. It's that's an all right little knife. I don't know what they value that at, but, you know, that come in a little handy. Alright. A Zoom 5.56 five, snap caps. Well, those are, those are uh, always useful, you know. Uh, you don't ever want to dry fire your weapon too, too much. Um, always be training. A, a Zoom rifle precision rifle snap caps are a perfect tool for adjusting and tuning your trigger pull in addition they help with offhand dry firing and smooth bolt cycling practice and that's true i mean you know you those are always handy to have and like i said you don't want to dry fire too much but you can get in the uh, practice of you know changing your magazine and cycling the bolt or whatever you need to do and you can practice in the house without destruction all right let's move on to the next thing real avid ar-15 field kit uh, okay well Come on. Didn't fit in the box very well. Alright. So it's a cleaning kit. I mean you get this pin punch. Uh looks like you might get a little prop that props the upper up so you can clean the the bore and the chamber and all that I'm not gonna break this open right now I mean you know it if you don't have a cleaning kit or your cleaning kits about wore out or you just need one to go in your uh, uh, range bag or whatever that that's pretty cool to have um you know I, i've got dang on it did i hit it thought i hit the tripod excuse me <coughs> so you know that cleaning kit's okay to have but i'm a gunsmith and this is my cleaning kit So, you know, I, there is all kinds of stuff in this kit. And here is the same, this is an Otis AR-15 kit right here. So, I mean, I didn't really need this because I have this big old kit here. And, you know... I will put this in one of my bags, you know, I mean, just to have it on the go, 
because I keep I keep an AR-15 in my truck. So, I mean, I'm not gonna be mad at it. Big functionality in a small rugged package that easily fits into a pack or a range bag. A chamber brush, carbon picks and star chamber pads help to clean more than the bore and keep your bolt cycling smooth. No annoying loose parts. <clears throat> Smartly organized. Each brush, pick, jag, patch, pad, and rod is held securely in place. Rod based on based for easier cleaning. This set this sets the standard for a portable AR-15 cleaning kit. And you know, I'm not I'm not saying that it's not a quality kit. And yes, everything fits in its own little slot in the package and stuff. But you know, it's something that I've I've got you know quite a bit of and I actually still have two of my Otis cleaning kits like that one over there but smaller that the military issued us when I went to Iraq and I had my own cleaning kit when I went so I didn't really use the Otis one so I put it up and I still have it and it's it's quite a bit bigger than this but it's for AR-15s and nine millimeter but anyway let's move on the next thing on the list is a Zippo Typhoon match kit alright so <clears throat> I've got a couple of these already and these canisters are waterproof um, so these matches will lighten the wind uh, they burn for 30 seconds uh, I'm pretty sure they burn underwater it's hard to put them out they're pretty good to have and you know the Zippo brand these are good matches um, you know so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not going to say anything bad about these because they're always great to have in your go bag, your truck, your boat, you know, uh, whatever your your hiking bag. It's always good to have a pack, pack of these because, like I said, they're waterproof. The canister's waterproof. It'll always be dry. If you have something you need to protect, you know, uh, you could after you got done using the, the the matches you could use the canister to keep something dry so I do like those we'll we'll be putting those in another bag that I have that are that need those so I like that I like that uh, the pers the perfect SHTF item. This container stores and protects 15 Typhoon matches and can even float in water and keeps matches dry. The tube provides attachment point for use in pocket, go bag, or on a pack. Provides extra pads for long lasting use and match refills. Matches can survive being submerged in water or rain each match burns up to 30 seconds nice customers in Alaska and Hawaii and overseas APO addresses will receive a different but comparable item you're just screwed if you want those in Hawaii and Alaska and overseas so like I said that that's a good item to, to keep in your bag you know alright let's go to the next thing world famous toothpicks now uh, okay whatever bite my wood <laughs> that's funny as shit though a fun little freebie for you guys a nice cinnamon taste with some bite this is a good range bag accessory 
And let's face it, everyone looks cooler shooting with a toothpick in their mouth. You know, yeah, I don't, I, I can't stand cinnamon. Cinnamon candy, big red chewing gum, I mean, uh, fireballs, uh, fireball liquor, anything with cinnamon in it, I just can't stand it. My wife might use those, but I don't want them. I'll use them for kindling, uh, is what I'd end up using them for. That's kind of, I mean, that's, I get it. You know, you're just putting a filler in, but, you know, okay, whatever. All right, and the plus, this is all what you would get in a tack pack box, the $50 box. And the next item is the, the plus part of the box. So it's a Rex Selenium brake and shroud kit, $150. Rex Silentium makes some of the best lightest suppressors offered in the U.S. We've teamed up with Rex to, to create a custom one-off concussion reduction system just for the TACPAC subscriber community. This convertible kit is usable in two different configurations to mitigate recoil and reduce concussion. Made from U.S. source stainless steel, hardened. Oh, I had it upside down. I apologize for that. So, Rex Selenium Muzzle Brake and Shroud Kit. Dang. That's kind of heavy. Okay. So, you get a barrel lug and muzzle brake and then this screws in on ah so okay I was gonna get a Rex selenium suppressor for my R15 and what this is is the barrel lug or the suppressor lug for a Rex selenium suppressor and so you want to take your suppressor off and you got this shroud uh, what they call it? Shroud kit. Okay. Uh, hmm. Says it mitigates recoil and reduces concussion. I could see how it reduces concussion because where where these slots are in the muzzle brake themselves they actually line up with the solid piece here of the the barrel lug or the lug and then it comes down the side and blows out and so but so you could just Screw that off and screw your suppressor on there and then you're good to go. You don't have to change nothing. Huh. $150. Well, they're kind of expensive. Let me look. Let me look these up. Rex Silentium. Muzzle brakes. Huh. Okay. So... I'm on the Rex Selenium website and that's it right there. MG Black Shroud Muzzle Device Set 179.50. So Tag Pack actually shortchanged it. That was the Rex Selenium website itself. And it's 180 bucks on their website. And Tac Pack said it was 150. So this month I'm actually not I'm not upset over this box actually. 
this makes up for all of it because like I said I was about to get one of these Brex selenium uh, suppressors so that'll work out great so I can just uh, change it out anytime I wanted to that's awesome uh, normally you know I mean I'm not too thrilled about the toothpicks and I'm not too thrilled about the the Kershaw fraction but I mean I have seen worse knives than this uh, so I'm not too awful upset about the Kershaw fraction and uh, definitely I'll use the snap caps and I'm going to use these uh, matches so and there's one more item in the box it's the Wicked Witch of the Smith and Wesson. This sticker might be your best, might be our best one yet. Warning: Do not attempt to imitate this pose with your rifle. <coughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny! Don't imitate that pose now. Well, you don't want to ride your rifle. I don't know why you wouldn't want to ride your ri rifle. I mean, you know, who wouldn't want to ride their rifle? Come on now. That's pretty cool. Uh, I do dig their stickers, though. Sometimes these these boxes ain't worth that much, and sometimes they're, you know, you feel like you got your money's worth. And with this Rex Selenium shroud and muzzle brake, I... I I honestly feel like uh, you know I got my money's worth this time yeah I'm not I, I will actually use all this stuff at one point in time probably uh, especially the matches and the knife and the, the shroud and brake and that cleaning kit I'll end up using it probably because I want to save my Otis kids that's probably why well that's uh, that's it in the Tack Pack Plus this month uh, so if you like what you've seen do me a favor like share subscribe it helps me out tremendously and it only takes a second out of your time uh, and I would appreciate it so much uh, I know that y'all don't have to watch me and invite me in your home, but you know, I feel privileged that you that you allow me to do that. And so I want all of you to know that I, I appreciate it, you know. Well, like I said, uh, if we can help you with your quick survive fire starter needs, go to the description, get 20% off and free shipping with uh, code CB Tactical. Um, if you don't want to go to the description, there's the there's the website quicksurvive.world, or you can go to baldwinsurvival at gmail.com, and we'll get back with you on it and ship you ship you out whatever you need. But if you go to the website, use my code CB Tactical 20% off and free shipping uh, store wide nationwide alright well I hope y'all have a wonderful evening y'all have a a good drinking night I'm not going to post this until in the morning so y'all might not want to drink in the morning y'all might have to go to work Alright, well I hope everybody has a great night, and we'll see you next time.